welcome to Salesforce Tech Book channel. Today our topic is bucket fields. By the end of this video, you will understand what is bucketing, which data types allow bucketing, how to create the bucket fields, and the practical demonstration of creating bucket fields on different data type values, the benefits of bucketing, and the limitations. Let's see what is bucketing. It is nothing but segmenting or categorizing the records. Here those segments are buckets. It is a report and documentation feature in Salesforce which allows us to segment the report data on the fly by defining set of categories, by defining set of buckets. And after creating the bucket field, you can use that field to sort, group or filter the records. It is a way to organize and analyze the data in more meaningful and user friendly way. Which data type allow bucketing? We can create the bucket field on numeric values, picklist values and text values. Depending on the data type of the column or field you are bucketing, you will see different options in the edit bucket column menu. I will show you the practical demo on it. How to create bucket fields. Here I am creating a report. Uh, I took the report type as opportunities. Here I am taking, I am creating the bucket field based on pick list value. That is here I am taking the stage field. Create the bucket column. Naming it as stages bucket. Here I have 10 values, 10 stages. I want to categorize these stages into three buckets like early stages, middle stages and final stages. First three stages I am pushing into, I am moving into early stages. Next three stages into middle stages. the other three stages into final stages. One more value left. So I am checking this checkbox so that it referred as other value. Apply. So we will get a bucket field here, stages bucket. We can sort it out based on this bucket field and you can group it. Here also you can do this group row by this field like this here we just created the bucket field based on the stages field then I'll show you how to create a bucket field based on numeric values here I'm taking the amount field bucket this column naming it as size okay the amount which is less than or equal to 50,000 I'm categorizing as small small deal greater than 50,000 to 1 lakh into medium deal greater than 1 lakh is a large deal apply this is how you can create the bucket field based on numeric values I'm grouping it yes this is how we are creating the bucket field based on numeric values now this one is a summary report right if you group it based on columns and reports as if you group it based on rows and as well as columns then you get the matrix report next I'll show you how to do it on text values here I'm creating a report report type is opportunities here uh, I'm taking the opportunity name to create the bucket field 
opportunity name I'm naming it as opportunity type here we have 27 values so the opportunities of generators installations SLS are there I'm categorizing like that all the opportunities of generators into one bucket generators installations SLA so all these values all the um, opportunities of generators I am moving into the generator bucket So all these values moving into generators bucket. Next to the opportunities of uh, installations. I'm moving into installations bucket. And the remaining values, the SLA opportunities all these opportunities I'm moving into SLS bucket here one more thing I want to tell you here enter values option is there this is the difference for the pick list buck buck bucket field and the text bucket field whenever you are doing for the text fields you will have this option you can enter the values uh, if you want to enter any other values you can do that and you can move that to the already existed buckets or you can add a new bucket by naming this by naming that over here so here we are getting the another bucket field opportunity type okay group it based on this opportunity type bucket field here we are getting it yeah all the Generators opportunities are in generators bucket all the installations opportunities are in installation bucket and all the SLA opportunities are in SLA bucket. So this is the This is how we can do the bucket field on text values Now I want to show you how to uh, use it in filtering how to use this bucket field in filtering here we can add the filter based on this opportunity type bucket field opportunity type bucket field here I want to see only the opportunities of generators or what whatever your requirement we can specify here So now we are getting the opportunities of generators only. So we can we are using the bucket field in filtering the report. This is how it works. We create a bucket field based on numeric values, pick list values, and text values. Let's see the benefits of bucketing. Here the bucketing is a really powerful tool which is helping us to organize the data in a meaningful ways. And here the benefits are improved data visualization so by look in our example also by looking at the size bucket field we can analyze the deal size which are uh, big uh, smaller deals which are large deals we, by looking at the bucket field itself we can see we can understand uh, how the trends are simplified analysis by looking at uh, opportunity type field we can compare different types of opportunities all the generator opportunities uh, in a one bucket and installation opportunities in another bucket and we can compare how the trends are so it is simplifying the analysis also Incre increased clarity by breaking down the large amount of data into smaller groups into more manageable groups uh, bucketing is helping us to get more clarity customization here the user is defining the 
custom category. The, uh, the user based on their business need, we can customize our buckets uh, based on the business need. So it, there is a chance of customization. Overall, it is increasing the efficiency. These are the benefits of bucketing and the limitations are for every report, we can add up to five bucket fields and every bucket field also we can add up to 20 buckets. In every, uh, every bucket, we can add up to 20 bucket values. So this feature is available in uh, developer enterprise and unlimited editions. I hope uh, you got the idea on bucketing. Please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook. Thank you so much and happy learning.